glow to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Today on Wide World. Poised to medal, Dominique Dawes fell short at last April's World Championships. Dawes is back leading the American team in their first meet since the Worlds. Her physical strength is unmatched, but she knows mental preparation is crucial to avoid past mistakes. I'm nervous usually before every competition, big or small. I just, I guess my nerves usually help me a lot to get through my competitions, because if I'm not nervous, I usually think there's something wrong. The Americans must be flawless as they face China and Belarus at the Hilton Gymnastics Challenge. Today we travel to Arizona in the home of Sir Charles Barkley and the Phoenix Suns. We're at the America West Arena downtown where today the lights are shining bright on the Hilton Gymnastics Challenge. 12 athletes from three teams divided into two groups which rotate around the arena floor vying for points in the team and all around competition. Young gymnasts have turned out en masse to witness the performances of many of the best competitors in the sport on all four Olympic apparatus. Let's begin with one of the world's finest all-around performers. They call her Awesome Dawson. She's 17-year-old Dominique Dawes from Silver Spring, Maryland. And we'll be seeing a new vault from Dominique. This is not the vault she performed at the World Championships. This is a handspring front pike. Beautiful position in the air. We've seen her perform other vaults in the past to disappointing results. Dominique reflected on that. I guess I wasn't really focusing on what I knew I could do. I was just worrying about, um, I guess, negative things. Also thinking about last year's vault and probably it, what happened was I overdid it from last year, but I mean, I haven't really thought about it. I was frustrated at that point, but after that, when I walked away, I was fine about it. She's taking a little pressure off by doing a safer vault here. So with a 9.55 earned on her first of two vaults, she tries her second attempt. This shows that Dominique is really focused on college gymnastics. This is a very strong vault for the collegiate women. Beautiful in the air, and it's such a difficult vault to land because it's a blind landing. You don't have the opportunity to see the floor before you make the landing. You have to feel for it, and she had a pretty large step on that. That will be the only deduction. The reason this vault is safer is because it's less complicated than the one she tried at the world. But if she did it perfectly, she can only get a maximum of a 9.8 here. Dawes' second vault earns a 9.65 for an average of 9.6. On the bars, Svetlana Tarasevich from Belarus. She's 14 years of age, a ninth grader. And we have all been so amazed at this gymnast throughout the workouts. She has an outrageous level of difficulty on most of the events. Beautiful transition to high bar. Look how straight her body line is. Everything finished right in handstand. Beautiful tuck front release. Unusual transition. She is so tiny she can swing straight through the bottom. Just barely bending her legs to miss the low bar. Look at that. Full in dismount. Now, according to the rules, the gymnasts have to transfer between the bars a minimum of three times. This transition is unique. She's only four feet seven, and the fact that she's short allows her to make this transition perfectly. Tadasevich earns a 9.65 for that routine, a slightly higher score than Dawes earned on the vault. Some great gymnastics performances still to come here at the Hilton Challenge. We've got four athletes representing each of three different countries, China, Belarus, and the United States. They're vying for titles in two events, the individual all-around as well as the team competition. We just saw America's Hope, uh, Dominique Dawes, perform, and Kathy Johnson, one might have to say, she is the class of this field. She is phenomenally talented, and it's been so exciting to watch her progress and excel over the last two years. She unfortunately had falls at the World Championships both in 93 and 94, where she almost won the all-around there. This could be our final year to see her in international competition. She's chosen to go on to Stanford on a college scholarship, which has been a goal of hers for a long time. She will have some competition here, though, and we're going to see some young kids, 12 and 14 years of age, doing outrageous skills in gymnastics. A little rough, a little inexperienced, but a lot of fun and very exciting. 
Now, Bart Conner, this is an international competition. Where will the American challenge come from? Well, I think the biggest challenge for the U.S. should come from a pair of powerhouse gymnasts from Belarus. You saw already Svetlana Tadashevis on the bars, exciting routines, and her teammate, Yelena Piskun, who's the former world champion on the vault. Both of these young ladies have a very high level of difficulty in their routines. They're really exciting to watch. Now, for the Chinese team, they're virtual artists on the balance beam and on the uneven bars, and they'll give us some highlights there as well. On the bars, Elena Piskun from Belarus. She's 16 years of age, already victorious at the 93 World Championships in the vault. Elena really is dynamic on this event. Very high level of difficulty. She doesn't quite have the body line that we see from the Chinese gymnasts. But watch the position. Beautiful height in the air, and look at that, right to a handstand. That's the best I've ever seen that done. Pull over. The dismount. Pike up and lay out. Phenomenal landing. There's two outstanding parts to this routine. The first one is this huge release move. You don't see many of these anymore, and look how high it is. Now, what's most impressive about this routine is the transition right here. All gymnasts want to land in the handstand, but few have the guts to go for the handstand on the low bar. 9.75 is Piskun's score on bars, and that's the highest mark earned in the early rotation. So at the end of the first rotation, our leaders in the all-around battle are Piskun, followed by American Katie Teft, Svetlana Tarasevich, and Dominique Dawes is in fifth place. Gymnastics is a truly international sport, and today, three of the superpowers of the sport have convened here after some extensive travel. China's team made the journey from their capital almost 6,500 miles to Phoenix, Arizona. And the team from the former Soviet Republic, Belarus, flew almost 6,000 miles to the American Southwest to see its bright sunshine and picturesque saguro cactus. But it was an athlete from this country who won this year's Hilton Bounce Back Award in honor of her overcoming a disappointment at last year's World Championships to remain one of the top performers in her sport. The winner, Dominique Dawes. Dawes has announced her plans to attend Stanford in the fall of 1995, but now she's over at the uneven bars. She was a silver medalist on this event in 93. Watch the precision and power of this routine. And you can see it coming up right here. A one and a half turn right on top of the bar to a handstand on low bar. Full out on the dismount. So crisp and clear. Everything is just perfectly placed. I'm sure that routine is going to get a good score, but in my opinion, it really lacks a big release move to be a world-class routine. She will get, however, bonus points for this combination here. Dawes earns a 9.8. That should help her in the all-around standings, not to mention the team event. Next up on the beam is Svetlana Tarasevich, who was sixth in the all-around at this year's European Championships. The most exciting part of this routine is the dismount. We couldn't believe it when we saw it in the workout. Never seen it before. It's a double front. She's such a talented gymnast in terms of her acrobatics, but notice she doesn't quite have the amplitude on her leads, and she's a little tight when she moves. Her shoulders are too high so it doesn't give her a fluid, elegant look. And she has plenty of difficulty in the routine as well. Two layout step outs, oh no. That's inexperience. She actually wasn't that much off in terms of her alignment over the beam. She second guessed the landing. Normally when you see a young 14-year-old gymnast like this, they're rather timid. She is so aggressive and assertive. Very confident. 
Now should... watch this, here it comes. Double front, look at that. I can't tell you how difficult that is, much less to land that well. Now watch here, a more experienced gymnast probably would have been able to save this. On the second layout, notice her left foot does not come down on the beam with the toes on the beam. It's very difficult to get your balance and freeze the landing. Tarasevich gets an 8.925 from the judges, but like most gymnasts, she appears more concerned with how her coach feels about her routine. Wan Yushin from China is over at the bars. She has a very difficult combination in this routine. Right here, reverse heck to a reverse heck front. Well done. Oh, a little check on that handstand. Beautiful work. Oh, oh, no. Unfortunately, I suspected some bad landings from the Chinese at, on the bars because they were not practicing that strong. So they're getting a little weak toward the end of the routine. It's really hard to pull off those difficult dismounts. Well, Kathy, it was a great routine, but only a 9.325 score from the judges. Had she not made that mistake on the dismount, she would have received the highest marks in the contest. We'll be back with more. Perhaps there's a future Olympian in this crowd being inspired by these gymnasts, one of whom is Amanda Borden, a 17-year-old from Cincinnati, Ohio, who likes competing against the best in the world. Well, I definitely think it's an important competition because it's an international competition, and you can see how you're ranked with other countries. And um, I'm very excited because I had a great meet last year, and I'm looking forward to having even a better meet this year. So. Borden was a finalist at this year's World Championships on the uneven bars. She had an unfortunate fall there because she really is outstanding on this event. That's what she fell on at the World Championships. Oh, a little bit off on the transition down to the low bar. Not a big deal. Big release move. Nicely done. Now watch this dismount, it's hard to land. Very difficult, double front. Oh, that's about the best we've seen her do that. That was an excellent landing, and what she does here is she does what we call cowboying it, pulling her knees apart, which allows her to spin faster, as well as spot the landing a little sooner. Borden gets a 9.7 from the judges. That's a strong score, and will help the U.S. in the team battle. Over at the beam, Elena Piscoon from Belarus, one of the potential candidates for the all-around title here. Elena does a very high level of difficulty, very risky on this event. Great combination. competed at the World Championships and at the European Championships. So she's a little bit tired, but fortunately she's in real good competition shape. Here it is, back handspring to a full. Wow. Very difficult. You know, when we first saw her on the international scene, she was very sloppy and her dance style has seemed to improve a little bit. She's more fluid in her movements. More elegant. She needs a good landing on this dismount. Double pike. Very well done. You're right, there was a ton of difficulty in the routine. This mount is unusual. The front on, right to a leap. Good combination. Now watch this combination from the leap 
right to a back dive with a full twist and straddle down. Score, 9.7. Juan Kosia from China, our final performer in the second rotation. She's ready to mount the beam. Watch closely throughout this routine how precise all the positions are, even in the air. Even in the most difficult elements, toes are pointed, legs are straight. Good save. Very, very impressive. And she has done that a number of times in this routine. But they're so subtle. <gasps> Little break there. A lot of pressure on the Chinese. They already have one fall. All the other gymnasts must hit. Nice routine. Juan earns a 9.675, and that moves her into third in the all-around, just behind Dawes. Piskun leading after two rotations. In the team battle, China has taken the lead. Back in the Valley of the Sun and the Hilton Gymnastics Challenge, we're halfway through the four rotations. After the first two, our leaders in the all-around are Elena Piskun from Belarus and Dominique Dawes, followed by China's Juan Kuxia. The team battle shows China leading the U.S. by a tenth of a point. Bart, Kathy, and I are privileged to be joined now by what is most likely the most popular gymnast on the face of the planet, Nadia Komanich. Thank you for stopping by. Happy. You've been following the sport of gymnastics very closely recently. What do you think of what you see now, and then particularly out of Dominique Dawes? Well, actually, uh, for the couple of years, I've uh, been very impressed with Dominique's um, exercises, and she's a very talented girl and uh, she's very powerful she has a lot of difficulties she's still progressing and uh, put a lot of difficulties in every competition as we see her and uh, she's uh, constantly uh, the the best one that uh, we 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 have we're getting ready to see the balance beam competition and nadia most people who are not gymnasts think the balance beam is the hardest and the scariest but it's really the easiest to do but the hardest to master and compete well thinking about dominic i mean we know that balance beam is the hardest uh, the event and is the easiest one to make a mistake and um dominic's i never seen her making a mistake on the beam uh, she feels like She's on the floor. She's very comfortable. She has a lot of difficulties in her routine, and uh, I don't think she's going to make any time of mistakes on that event. Well, Nadia, let's watch Dominique on the beam. This is a critical event for both Dominique in the all-around. She's five hundredths of a point behind Elena Piscoon, but also the American team. They already have a fall on beam, and you're allowed to drop one score and count three. Even though it's somewhat of a clutch situation, you never expect Dominique Dawes to water down. This is her most impressive pass and her trademark. Three layout step outs. It's amazing because she's not a short gymnast. She's pretty tall and how she can put together four moves on, 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 the, on the beam. So aggressive on the landings. You can really see the different levels of experience in this competition. We saw earlier Tara Savich miss a landing on a skill that she really had made. And Dominique really goes for all of the landings. And this is a beautiful dismount pass. 
Very difficult. Two back handsprings. Full twisting double back. And she landed. Excellent. I think that the coaches didn't teach her how to make a mistake on anything. <laughs> she doesn't know yet that. Nice to have you with us, Nadia. Thank you very much. Well, few gymnasts would know more about perfection than Nadia Komanij. Now, normally you would expect some inconsistency on this dismount. It's the most difficult one you can do, and yet Dominique Dawes never, ever misses it. She's amazing. The awesome Dawson earns a 9.8, and that puts her in a position to take the lead in the all-around. China leading in the team competition after two rotations. Their competitor on floor, Hei Shumei. And we've seen their beautiful work on the balance beam and the uneven bars. This typically is their weak event as a team. They're not as strong and powerfully built, and their tumbl tumbling suffers just a little bit. Oh. Open with a two and a half twist. A triple turn didn't quite make it. She looks a little sluggish going into this last pass, but she pulled it out. As much mastery as we saw from the Chinese gymnasts on the bars and on the balance beam where their technique is impeccable, they really lack power here, and you'll notice she makes a critical mistake on this two and a half twist. If she's over rotated, she could just step forward. If you're under rotated, there's little you can do. Hey, Shumei's routine receives an 8.8. .8. Unbeam from Cincinnati, Ohio, the 17-year-old Amanda Borden is in fourth place after two rotations. She wants to move up into those medals. And this is another key event, not only for Amanda, but for the US as well. They could take advantage in this rotation with the Chinese, oh no. The Chinese on floor exercise where they're weak. The Americans come up with strong routines on the balance beam. They can move ahead again. She is off to a shaky start. It's very difficult when you start off a little shaky to really get it back in line. Does confidence play a major role in balance? Huge role. Sometimes you can will yourself back onto the balance beam, even though a slight mistake has been made. This is just disastrous for Amanda. She really had an opportunity to do well in the all-around. Big implications for the U.S. team as well. This will be tough to come back from. Three of the four American scores will be counted towards the team total. And unfortunately, they're going to have to count a low score. We noticed right from the start of the routine that she was shaky and she started second guessing herself. This is a difficult move, but one that you don't expect to fall like that from Amanda Borden. Borden gets an 8.925. The leader throughout the competition in the all-around points total, Elena Piscoon, who is just a bit ahead of Dominique Dawes after two rotations. This is the best competition I have seen Elena have ever. She had troubles at the European Championships and at the World Championships in the all-around. 
She really seems to be nailing all her landings. It's very easy to spot the gymnast that wants to win. Big a deduction, though. She does more than she has to. This is actually her fourth tumbling pass. Oh, and she went for it all. Unbelievable level of difficulty. Piskun gets a great score of 9.725, but Dawes' superior beam routine advances her to first in the all-around. The U.S. moves into first place in the team competition. ABC's Wide World of Sports continues with the Hilton Gymnastics Challenge. Back in Phoenix, the stars of gymnastics are shining brightly. One of them, Elena Piskun, a former world champion in the vault, is 25 thousandths of a point behind our leader, Dominique Dawes. She's performing the most difficult vault in the entire competition. So your twinkle, double twist. Phenomenal. Excellent job on that. Since Dominique is finishing up on her very best event, she has to stick both these vaults, and she does it on the first one. Piscoon gets a 9.825 on her first vault, and again, is the world champion in this event in 1993. Where it is risky here, Dominique actually hit her first vault at the world championships, then missed on the second one. They average the scores, so she has to hit this one. It's not perfect, but it's such a difficult vault. It comes from a 10-0, and it was only the hop on the landing. Up now on the floor X, America's Amanda Borden. Back at the vault, Elena Piscoon earned a 9.837 average. Amanda can certainly move up in the all-around here, but more important, she needs a strong performance for the U.S. team. And this is the most critical tumbling pass. An Arabian double front. Watch how difficult the landing is. Oh, and she just stays in bounds. This is a new pass for Amanda, front with a full to a front half. It's a strong landing on this two and a half twist. Comes out of a whip bath. Just a slight little stumble. Let's take a look at how close she comes to going out of bounds. She's gonna step forward with her left foot and grip with her toes and keep herself from going over the white line. That's some strong toes. Borden's floor score a 9.8, and as Kathy said, important team points. China's 16-year-old from the Guangdong province, Ye Lin Lin, is next. Thank you.
triple twist, well done. A little sluggish on those last two leaps. Looks like she's tiring out a little bit. It's a complicated routine. I get the feeling the Chinese are not quite in routine shape. Mm -hmm. At the end of all the routines, they seem to tire a little bit, get a little sluggish, and have trouble on the final landing. Stay with us, because when we return, Dominique Dawes will try to hold on to her lead and win the all-around with her performance on the floor exercise. Please welcome back a young lady who just won queen of her high Final school performer prom. of the day, fittingly, it's America's Here's best. Dominique awesome. Dawes, who's Dominique our leader in the all-around competition. She needs a 9.812 or better than a 9.812 in order to win this contest. And to give you an idea of how difficult that is, that would be the highest score so far in the floor exercise and the highest score that Dominique has received so far in the meet. She can do it here, though. This has to be one of the most entertaining floor routines ever. The audience loves it. A moment ago, Yaelin Lin's score on floor, 9.675. gold medal Olympic performance two years ago. Beautiful landing. The same pass we saw Piscoon do at the end of her routine. But Dominic is just a little cleaner, a little crisper. She's very sharp today. Clean, precise. Did everything possible that she could do. It's up to the judges now. Great routine. It's really great to see Dominique bounce back since her disappointment at the World Championships. Her confidence is terrific. This tumbling pass is a backflip with two and a half twists. And she's so in control on the landing. It's very impressive. Bart, she's also impressed the judges. Dawes gets a 9.9, .9, the highest score of the day. More than enough points to win the all-around. Piskun gets the silver, Yaelin Lin wins the bronze, and America wins the team competition. Our Kathy Johnson is with the awesome Dawson now. Dominique, a really exciting and close competition. It's got to give you great satisfaction to pick a vault you're more comfortable with, though it's not worth as much, but still win. Well, this vault was just for this competition. It's an, only a 9-8 vault, and I want to get my 10 vault back to where I need it to be. Well, it worked. Do these competitions take on an even greater importance since this might be your final year of international competition if you go on to Stanford and compete in college? Well, this was a really exciting win for me. It was really tough coming up into the last event, but I did my best, and I'm really happy that I pulled through. Who cares about tomorrow? For America's awesome, Dawson, the future is now. Don't